I wanna show you how I set up my base Golang project. I love to use the Uber FX package and it handles dependency management for you. Let's get right into it. So this is the open source GitHub repository that I set up. You're free to clone it and it's open source. I'm just gonna explain different parts and you'll see that I have a base project set up here with command server. I like to put everything underneath command and then I use server for the main server. You could have a CLI for something if you need a command line access. So I also like to use the autoloader for the environment and this is set up here. You just put a .env file there and then whatever environment variables you need will be automatically loaded. This code here is just to print out your logs in sub-second format, just so it prints out correctly. Now this is the main part right here that does the dependency injection setup with FX. And you'll see that there's three providers here. I have the database, the, the server itself, and then routers. So let's take a look at, this, at the server itself. And this should look pretty familiar for setting up the server, you just create a server, and then down here is where you just actually block and listen for any uh, web requests. And the part that's that would be new is setting up the on start here. This just tells FX when the application starts up, let's start this server, and then when it when it stops there, we're going to shut down everything. And it's nice for graceful shutdowns, and that's kind of a complicated area, and FX handles all this, even when you have multiple things that need to shut down at the same time. And then up here, this is the router. So you'll see that I'm using Qi here. Uh, it's a really basic web server, and it handles a lot for you, and I just love using it for everything. And then basically the router I do down here for all my API routes. Now, if you were also hosting a, a full stack application, like a React front end, you would, you would mount that down below this line right here. And then an example I just put in here is just um, getting the hello for hello world. So let's go back to the main handler um, and we can take a look at what exactly is a provider. And so a database provider here, uh, basically all it does is it just returns whatever instance you're trying to use. And then also you can return an error. Uh, you don't have to, but this error tells FX that we need to shut down. Things didn't start up correctly. So in this instance, if I can't connect to the database, then it's gonna, it's gonna return. And then when you want the database to shut down, this is where I'm using this lifecycle utility here, um, and that allows me to shut down the database. The last bit is this invoke. And now this, this is a little confusing because why doesn't our web server start up? Well, it's because we need to invoke the server in order for FX to say, oh, we need to start that dependency. And so just by writing this function here, we're basically telling FX to, okay, we need to start the server and the router and mount all the routes. And then another example for my directory structure is just the, the models here. So I like to put my models inside internal, and then I also have handlers here inside of internal. And this is just an example of a, of a model I use for a user. And then this is a SQL X syntax here. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Happy to answer anything. And if you're interested in this content, please like and subscribe. I appreciate it.